So you're thinking about moving to the Seattle area and maybe Bothell is one of the cities on your list that you're looking at in terms of finding a home and finding the right place for you to live. In this video, I'm gonna jump on Google Maps again and give you a map tour of Bothell. If you haven't already, make sure you subscribe to the channel. I love helping you guys out. Those of you that reach out to me here from YouTube, I am an active real estate agent in the greater Seattle area. So if you're moving over here, thinking about buying a home and want some help through that process, feel free to reach out to me. You can click the link in the description to jump on my calendar and just schedule a time for a call or you can reach out directly at my number or email below. Look forward to hearing from you. But like I said, this video, we're gonna do a Google map tour again. And this time it's gonna be of Bothell. Bothell is a super popular city that a lot of people have moved to recently, especially from out of state for a number of reasons. It's one of the, the, the biggest hot spots for people relocating here from out of state. So I'm gonna show you why, and let's just go ahead and jump into the map here. All right, so you can see on my screen here, Got the map pulled up. We've got Seattle right here in the middle. Just northeast of Seattle here is Bothell. Now this is about 20-ish miles away um, from Bothell. You've also got Bellevue down here. So uh, it's, it's super common for people to be moving over here and their job is in the Seattle area or in the Bellevue area. Um, not necessarily that's gonna be your case, but that, that is common. So people are always curious what you know what that commute looks like. If you're going from Bothell to Seattle, you can go two different ways. It's gonna take you, without traffic, you can get to Seattle in 25-ish minutes, a little bit less. Uh, that's without traffic. With traffic, it's gonna be 45 or so. Um, with rush hour traffic, you can start to get pretty backed up. Uh, you're gonna head west here out of Bothell, down 522 and then merge onto I-5. This is one way that you can go and then jump on I-5 down into downtown Seattle. Just going around the lake here. Uh, that is one common way to go. There's another way you can go um, that could be a little bit faster uh, if you wanted to. If you're in Bothell, you can just head south on 405 here like you're going to Bellevue. As you get right here, you can jump onto the 520 bridge to head west over the lake. So this is the 520 bridge right here. Now this is a toll bridge right here. So you're gonna pay to use it. Uh, it's gonna be anywhere from $2 to $8 really to use this bridge, just depending on the time of day. Um, <clears throat> but it is probably the quickest way that you can go. It brings you to the north side of Seattle right here. This is University of Washington right here. Um, so it'll bring you right in here and then you can merge onto I-5 and go to downtown if that's where you're going. And then similar, if you're going to the Bellevue area for work, maybe you work at Microsoft or you work at uh, Facebook or, or the Amazon offices in Bellevue or one of the many other companies in the Bellevue area, again, you're just gonna head south down 405 here. It's gonna bring you straight into Bellevue. Um, you can get from Bothell to Bellevue in less than 15 minutes with, with no traffic, you can get in 10 minutes. Uh, with traffic, it'd take you anywhere from 20 to 30, 35 minutes just depending on how bad that traffic is. Um, but a lot of people live here in Bothell and work here in Bellevue, or rather just the east side in general. So the east side is east of Lake Washington here. If, if you hear that term when you're researching Seattle and you're moving over here and you hear the term east side, that's this area here. Oops, get the drawing tool. Bothell, Kirkland, Bellevue, over to Issaquah, Sammamish, and you've got Redmond right here, you've got Woodenville. So this is the east side. <clears throat> There's a lot of high paying jobs in this area. I mentioned uh, the big names, you know, there's Google, there's Facebook, there's Amazon offices, Microsoft headquarters, there's GoDaddy, um, a lot of the big names, but there's a lot of other companies as well that people are, are taking jobs at. So let's zoom in to Bothell specifically here. Now, what's important to know about Bothell, just a heads up, I guess, not super important, but Bothell's actually split between two counties. You have King County down here, <clears throat> and then you have Snohomish County up to the north side. It doesn't change a whole lot, but just so you know, kind of the south side of Bothell is gonna be in King County, and as you get north, it's gonna be Snohomish County. Now, similarly, 
is the schools. Schools are gonna be split between two districts. Now, talking about the schools, this is one of the big reasons people move to Bothell. This might be reason number one, reason number two, is the, the, the well-rated schools in this area. You, you'll probably hear Bothell is in the North Shore School District. The North Shore, Stu the North Shore School District is one of the highest rated districts in the state of Washington. And so that draws a lot of people in wanting to live in Bothell because they want to be in that district. Now, what's also important to know is um, Bothell is split, like it's split between two counties, it's also split between two different school districts. So you're going to have um, North Shore School District is going to be really right through here. It's going to be a much larger area when you're talking about North Shore School District. It's going to be about this entire area here, approximately. Uh, and then you're going to have um, the Everett School District, which is just going to be up north of here. It's going to be a lot smaller. Um, so I'd say about 80 to 90 percent of the homes um, in probably closer to 80-85% of the homes in Bothell are going to be in the North Shore School District. As you uh, look on the north side of Bothell up here before you get to Mill Creek, so if you're looking at homes like right in here, that's where most of them are going to be uh, Everett School District. So just keep that in mind if, if that's something that's uh, important to you. Now regardless of whether you're in these schools right up here in the Everett School District or you're in North Shore, they're all going to be really well rated. They're all eights, nines, and tens um, when you look at the great schools ratings. So very, very high rated schools. Like I mentioned, big reason a lot of people are moving over here. Another big reason people are moving over here is the jobs, like I mentioned. So if we zoom in here, let's look at Bothell specifically. As you go a little bit north in Bothell to the Canyon Park area, let's see if it'll pull up for me. There's a lot of companies gonna pull up for me there's a lot of um, just here east of, of Canyon Park there's a lot of like engineering firms some smaller tech companies there's a lot of jobs through this area that uh, a lot of people are coming over here for so that's um, uh, something that's very popular and like I mentioned we, we talked about jobs a little bit before but you've got um, Google right here you've got Microsoft headquarters right here um, and then you've got uh, down in Bellevue, you've got a lot of tech companies and, and Amazon offices, GoDaddy, Google, or uh, Google's in Kirkland, but a lot of different tech companies in this area. So people are coming over here primarily for jobs. A big reason, even though people may maybe say they're they're taking a job right here at Microsoft headquarters, they might not. They might decide, hey, I don't want to move here in Bellevue or right here in Redmond because even though it's super close to the headquarters, median home prices are 1.5, 1.6 million right now. So what a lot of people say is, hey, I'd rather get a little bit more bang for my buck and I'll just go to Bothell right up here. It's still a very doable commute, like I mentioned. Um, you're you're 10, 12 miles from Bellevue, uh, even closer to the Overlake area where Microsoft headquarters is. Um, so a, a lot of people live in Bothell and commute down here to Redmond and Bellevue for work every day. Um, but in terms of the median price down here in Bellevue, Redmond, Kirkland, like I mentioned, it's 1.5, 1.6 million for median price points. As you get up to Bothell, just 10 miles further north, it drops to 1.05. So about, you know, 500,000 or so less when it comes to the median home prices. So you can get quite a bit more bang for your buck in Bothell, which is why Bothell has really started to blow up over the last decade with people moving here from out of state for jobs. And they're saying, hey, I wanna, I wanna get a little bit more house for my money, so I'm not gonna live right in Bellevue or right in Redmond. I'm gonna go to Bothell instead. Um, so that's a big reason for it. So um, I've done a, a, a you know, kind of like a vlog tour of Bothell for you. It's on my channel um, where I actually took you through Bothell and showed you around. Um, if you watch that, great. If not, um, this is kind of the, the downtown area of Bothell here. It's really been revitalized. Over the last 10 years, uh, they've, they've done, built you know a lot of new buildings through there and really 
done a good job bringing it up. So there's a lot of restaurants and coffee shops and uh, things you can do down there in Bothell in downtown. They also have Bothell Landing Park right here. So you want to take the family um, and, and, and have the kids play on the playground or walk around right off Bothell Landing Park. You've got Sammamish River and then the Sammamish River Trail. You can see the green spots right here. Spamish River Trail. So this is a paved trail in which you can ride your bike, take your dog for a walk, take your kids, rollerblade if you're into that. Um, and then as you are on the Sammamish River, there are spots you have to go. Um, uh, there's a good spot in Woodenville actually um, where you can go uh, jump in the river if you want to go swimming or launch a kayak, launch a paddleboard, something like that. You can. Uh, there's recreational opportunities right on the Sammamish River. But this is the downtown area, McManaman's Anderson School. I took you through that as well on that vlog tour video. This is a really cool spot. It used to be uh, an old middle school um, and it was converted into a hotel and restaurants and like a movie theater and like all sorts of things here, uh, a pool, swimming area. Um, so it's a really cool spot, especially if, if you have kids for the family. Uh, it's a really cool spot to go and hang out. So it's nice being close to that. Zooming back out a little bit. So the kind of the main highway outside of 405. So you've got 405 right here, which is the main freeway that runs through Bothell. Outside of that, your, your main thoroughfare is gonna be right here. Okay, this is Bothell Way. It's, it's Bothell Way on the south side, and then as you get north, it turns into Bothell Everett Highway because it brings you uh, almost to Everett. Um, so this is gonna kind of be your main thoroughfare there. Now along this main thoroughfare, there are a lot of apartments, condos, townhomes, and a lot of these buildings are newer and, and really nice, not necessarily super run down or anything like that. You'll see that in some cities where you've got the main thoroughfare, the main pass through, and there's just run down condo and apartment complexes everywhere. Bothell is a, is a little bit, um, a little bit nicer in that regard where there's a lot of, of newer things, newer uh, complexes that have been built over the last 10, 20 years. So um, if, if you're coming to Bothell and, and you're just looking for a condo or an apartment, you're gonna have a lot of options, um, a lot of options. And, and a lot of them are gonna be right along this Bothell Everett Highway because it's very convenient for commuting. Um, because you're so close to 405 here, you can get on the freeway pretty quickly. Um, so just keep that in mind if that's something you're looking for. All right, let's let's uh, let's head a little bit further north in, uh, in Bothell. Actually, I wanna point this out. So I mentioned, um, here's Bothell right here downtown. Bothell extends all the way up until about right here. This is right about the, uh, the border between Mill Creek, Bothell, and, and Linwood over here. <clears throat> So this is all Bothell through here. You've got 405 right here. This is the freeway I spoke about that uh, brings you to, to Bellevue and, and down south there. You also have I-5. This is how you get to Seattle. So if you're going down to downtown Seattle, you can jump on I-5. Or I mentioned you can take that little shortcut right along the north side of the lake down here. That's an option too. The great thing about Bothell is you have access to both freeways. The interchange is right here. So you've got 405 and I-5, and this is right in uh, Linwood, right next to Bothell. So because you're kind of on the top of the lake here, you can get to and from wherever you need to go relatively easily because you may need to go jump on I-5 directly to go to something over on the west side, or you might need to jump on 405 to go to something on the east side. You can get to it pretty easily because they meet right, in, uh, right next to Bothell in Linwood. All right, so as we go a little bit further north, this is the Canyon Park area right here. So again, a lot of condos and apartments up through here. Uh, you'll, you'll find a lot of shopping in here. So PCC, this is a natural grocery store, kind of like Whole Foods if you don't have a PCC where you're from. Um, you've got a number of restaurants through here as well. A lot of places to eat in Bothell. There's no shortage of restaurants. QFC is another grocery store. Um, as you continue on the Bothell Everett Highway, go even a little bit further up. This is Thrasher's Corner here, Thrasher's Corner. So you've got Safeway, another grocery store. Fred Meyer, another grocery store. 
um, at more restaurants, Panera, you've got your chain places, you've got local places, all sorts of options in Bothell. Bothell is one of the most convenient and commuter friendly areas in, in the Seattle area. There's everything in Bothell, just about. Um, the only thing that's not within the boundaries of Bothell is Costco, but it's it's basically in Bothell almost. It's right here, it's in Woodenville. So here's your Costco. If, if you're a Costco lover like I am, it's, it's, you know, we've got downtown Bothell right here. This is about the border of Bothell through here. It's technically in Woodenville, it's right there. Um, so it's, it's super close, you can still get to it easily. And like I mentioned, Bothell ends right up, uh, right up in here uh, before you get to Mill Creek. So there's a lot of uh, residential neighborhoods in Bothell. Um, what you're gonna find is a lot, uh, you're gonna find a mix, really. Bothell, there was a lot of construction that, that started happening in the 80s and 90s. So you're gonna see a lot of neighborhoods through here in like the North Creek area <clears throat> and down here in the kind of the Southwest Bothell area, south of Canyon Park. You're gonna see a lot of neighborhoods with uh, even 70s, 80s, 90s built homes, early 2000s. Um, they are all over the place. As, like I said, it's really when Bothell started to develop and, and kind of blow up. As you, you know, if, if you're looking for new construction though, you're moving over here and say, hey, I want a brand new house or something that's only a couple of years old. That's also something Bothell's been known for um, over the last five to 10 years is all the new construction that's been going on. There's a ton of new builds in this area, new developments. You know, it could be a development of only 10 new homes or a development of, of 75 new homes. There's a lot of new developments and new builds in Bothell. So if that's something that's important to you, you can certainly find that. Most of those new builds are gonna have smaller lot sizes. Um, they're gonna be, you know, really, you're gonna be really close to your neighbors in an HOA neighborhood, um, kind of your typical new construction these days. If you're saying, hey, I, you know, I really would, uh, would like some more land. You know, I, I'd like to be in Bothell because it's convenient, but I don't want to be on top of my neighbors. Maybe I'd like an acre or two acres. There's not as much of that in Bothell as there are maybe in some other cities, but there are some options. Um, if you go out to like Maltby here, this, there's Bothell addresses out here. This is where you're going to find m more opportunities for that. As you're kind of closer to, this is Highway 9, as you're kind of closer out here to Highway 9 in the North Creek area, you'll start to find some more properties that maybe have half an acre or an acre lot sizes where you have a little bit more privacy, but you're still close in and convenient to everything. Uh, so, so if that's something that's important to you and you say, hey, I'm not gonna buy a house with a 6,000 square foot lot where I can almost touch my neighbor's house, um, check that out now. That, and I'm exaggerating a little bit. Like that's how the, most of the new construction is with these really small lots. When you go to the more established neighborhoods, like I mentioned all through here and here and here with these 70s, 80s and 90s built homes, you'll have average lot sizes. Your lot size will be anywhere from um, 8,000 square feet to 15,000 square feet. Um, so, so you're not necessarily going to be right on top of your neighbor, but it's going to be your typical subdivision, sub suburbia living. Um, so you've got you've got everything. You've got small lots with brand new homes. You've got mid-sized lots in these more established neighborhoods, and then you've got some options with smaller acreage, right? Half an acre, one acre, maybe two acres that you could find um, as you get a little bit further east in Bothell. Uh, there's options like that. So uh, just keep that in mind if that is something that's important to you. All right, well, this wraps up my tour, my map tour of Bothell, Washington. Hopefully that was helpful for you. This is one of the most popular cities that people move to when they're relocating here from out of state. Um, a number of reasons of why I showed you close to great jobs, great high rated schools, one of the most convenient cities in, in the metro area in terms of access to, to stores and restaurants and transportation. Um, it's all right there. Um, so Bothell has a lot that draws people in. Like I mentioned, I'm an active real estate agent in the greater Seattle area. So if you're moving over here, relocating from out of state, or maybe you already live here and are just looking to purchase a home, feel free to reach out to me. I would be more than happy to help you with that. Thanks for watching this one.